Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're checking out the Trust Onyx microphone and arm. This is a quite a sophisticated and very nice looking microphone boom arm with integrated USB hub. It has a built-in shock mount and a microphone as well. So all of this comes for around about £174. I got it in the Black Friday sale for £110 and you can, it does drop down every now and then. So keep an eye out if you are interested in this microphone. It has a built-in LED. You can switch it between a few colours here that you can see here and it has a mute microphone on it, zero latency through the headphones, and there's a strong three-point table clamp as well to keep everything all connected. As I said, there's a USB hub in the top. It carries two USBs. One of them is taken up with the microphone, but you do have the ability to plug in another. So do you want to use any other accessories such as a light or maybe power a camera or anything like that? So we'll be checking that as well. It's aimed at quite a wide array of uses from podcasting, live streaming, voiceovers, vlogs, music recording and vocals. It's their GXT brand, which is like their gaming brand. And that's pretty much it in terms of its general features. Let's go on the other side. Uh, you can actually have this arm mounted in different ways. I'm gonna try and see if you can bring it along and up. Uh, you don't really see that in photographs. So I'd be interested to see if you get that. It's got a built-in table clamp and the cable is integrated into the stand. So it makes it all nice and neat. Uh, you've got an LED there, which also tells you if it's muted, but otherwise you can choose from a few color schemes there. And here's the built-in hub that I'll be checking out as well. I've had the quality on YouTube and I was quite impressed. So at the moment I'm using a Samsung Meteor mic. Very impressed with the quality at the moment. I'm about 30 to 40 centimeters away from the microphone. Uh, I could go a little bit closer and you get a kind of radio-like voice. At the moment, I'm a bit further away than what I normally would use for my recordings. But I really do like the microphone. It's roughly about here, just away from the camera. But I thought I wanted a mount option and the mount options that are available, at least the ones that look like this and are all integrated with cable management, they're at least a hundred pounds. So for about 10 pound more, I could actually get the, this mount with the USB hub and this microphone attached, which sounds pretty good as well. So I'll be testing that out in a second. Uh, but first of all, let's open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so here we have everything here that comes in the box itself. We've got the microphone. All right, so it's a shame that it's not actually in like a metal casing. Um, it, it feels cold to the touch, but I think it's plastic. Um, you've got a uh, changing of your illumination. I think that is there. Screw attachment point for the mount, um, and then it's gonna hang down like that. Uh, you've got a built-in spoffle. If you take that off, you've got this, which apparently uh, does a very good job cancelling out any mobile interference that you might have. If you've got a mobile that's near, this will help stop that from happening, which is another reason why I went for this microphone. This is gonna light up once we get powered on, and we've got the shock mount, um, which is hopefully should get rid of any vibration from the table or from the actual mount itself. So we'll be checking that soon. Here we have the table mount, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's got a bit of abrasions here. Don't know whether that's come in through manufacturing or not. Uh, this is definitely metal with a very nice, uh, not very st strong in terms of, you'd normally get a bolt that's a little bit thicker than that. Uh, but you've got some padding here to protect this, the table surface. And you've got a little bit of padding there to protect the underneath as well. So. I'll get that roughly to the size of my table. Uh, at the back here, you've got a, a attachment screw that's gonna bind um, and push the plastic together to hold the base of the mounting arm itself. You've got the power cable for the microphone, USB-A to USB-C. So the microphone is, yeah, USB-C on the other end, which is really, really nice. So you've got a pass-through headphone port there so you can listen to yourself. A little bit of a volume rocker there at the bottom, and you've got probably the microphone gain um, and being able to turn the microphone on and off. I think it's just the gain actually, there's no toggle switch there. Uh, a couple of manuals, uh, some legal compliance and a manual that roughly tells you how to get everything installed. Might have a look at that in a minute. And lastly, we've got the stand itself. That's everything from the box. So here's the mountain arm. It's got a Velcro uh, attachment, it's quite nice. 
you can reuse that in some other instances on your PC setup. This is kind of like spring loaded. It's already coming out on me now. And so there's definitely some sort of spring in here. You've got a tightening point here, tightening point at the end. This is where the microphone attaches. And then at the base, we've got the mounting point here and everything's all integrated. The cable's not showing. Uh, there's no like gully or anything to pass any other cables through unfortunately you might be able to take it off and pass through more cables but i won't want to try it just yet and at the other end you've got a usb a uh, it's a shame it's not usb c but i've got a monitor that my macbook plugs into and it's got a usb a so we'll be using that socket there so at the other end you've got a usb hub here's the hub and then the cable for the actual microphone that's going to be attaching onto this point and um then we mount the this on the other end, uh, which should be pretty straightforward. Standard, I think, 3.8 uh, screw here, so you can actually attach other things onto that if you wanted to, if you wanted to use this mount for other means. But basically, you would, um, this is your way of uh, tightening up this socket and allowing you to keep it positioned how you want. So because this actually doesn't go any further this way, uh, it looks very unlikely to be able to mount the the mount underneath your monitor because the ball joints won't go the other way. You would have to turn it around at uh, that point. Yeah, basically it's not, it's not going to be possible. So it's over the top of your monitor or off to the side rather than underneath. Right, let's get this plugged into the table and uh, the microphone itself. So I've put the mic up, I've attached it to the desk and now I've plugged everything all in to my Mac and it's using the profile of just microphone. It's quite generic on the Mac at least, uh, but it does show off that it is USB. So it's picking that up at least. I've got a ultra wide monitor. So the arm is big enough to go over the top of the ultra wide and come back down. The microphone therefore is hanging over the front of the monitor, which isn't brilliant, but you could probably mount it a little bit higher and have the microphone coming down at you. You can't have the microphone coming vertically down it's not that kind of microphone. You need to be casting directly into the microphone itself at the very end of the microphone and not at the sides. Because if I go around the sides, I'll be a lot quieter than I actually am at the front of the microphone. So you do need to be at least directly casting to the end of the microphone and not at the sides. I'm roughly about 50 centimeters away from the microphone itself. If I got a little bit closer, probably about 20 centimeters, I'll probably sound a bit more DJ like, but I think that really does peak you in the audio sense. So you've got to dial down that gain if you are going to stand very close to the microphone. If I'm about a meter away from the microphone, this is the audio that you're going to get from one meter away. If you are sort of talking to people or you want to show something in front of you, this is what the microphone is going to pick up if you are roughly about a meter away from the microphone. But I think 50 centimeters away is a good happy medium. And I think um, it's definitely clear, really nice and crisp, good audio. Um, and it's definitely worth its money, I think, considering you get a really nice fancy looking mount and you've got it all integrated. The cable's not loose hanging around. One thing about the cable that attaches to the microphone, I think it could be a roughly about half its length but i can see what they're doing here that, that you might have the position of the microphone a little bit further down or around or just to give you better freedom of movement this cable is not going to get in the way of you doing that so if it was half the length it might be quite tight to do those extra things if you were to tighten it round on the thread fully i found that the microphone was like pointing 90 degrees away from me which isn't brilliant and the mount the shock mount that it's attached to it doesn't pivot, it only pivots vertically, it doesn't do horizontally. So you have to roll the screw downwards to allow it to tighten and keep a, a set point. So once you've done that and you work that out, you can position the microphone where you want it to be angled towards you the best. All the screw points off the mount are very secure. The mount does have a quite a spring hinge to it. So if you do have it close to a wall, bear that in mind because the back of the mount will spring backwards and probably hit the wall like I have done when I first attached it. You've really got to tighten that lower screw up on the mount for it to stand permanently vertical. And then you can either bring it forward and then it kind of holds its weight once you've got the microphone attached to it. The microphone is quite light to carry, so it's not really giving that much weight to the stand itself. But once you do attach it, it does make the stand a little bit more sturdier in terms of its pivot point. 
just because it's got that extra weight to it. And once you adjust all the screw points on the actual arm itself, you can manipulate the stand and it does hold its point and you don't have to undo it and then retighten it back on again. You can just keep them as is and you can just manipulate this, the stand, which is really, really nice. As I said, the hub has another USB port. You've got two there. One is used for the microphone. That's good if you want to power like a, another light from the microphone at you, like a key light or a soft light, or you could actually add another camera to the hub as well. So you can actually power a camera so you don't have to run off the batteries. That's quite an, a nice value add as well. And if I tap the boom, the shock mount should really do its job of keeping um, the noise at bay. If I hit the actual shock mount itself, obviously the casing of the microphone so we can hear if it actually is doing a good enough job there and obviously i'm recording with the microphone as well so you, what you're hearing is from the microphone so you can get your own judgment of what the quality is like compared to uh, my other mic that i was using earlier it's definitely night and day in terms of its quality and how crisp it is uh, and i'm very very pleased and it's definitely a microphone i'm going to keep rather than use my old Samsung Meteor mic. I'm not quite sure about the LED ring. Um, it's a bit of a gimmick. Um, it's one for that kind of YouTube, your, your younger market where someone might want to have a, a colorful LED in their stream or they've got a certain brand and they wanna come across with that kind of brand in their videos as well. It's quite nice that you've got a couple of colors there. Would it be nice if you could do it a bit similar to some steel series software where you might be able to manipulate the colors. That might have been a nice value add through software, but on the base, you can just toggle the, the back of the microphone and it will just toggle through the few uh, colors that are available for the microphone. And you got that 3.5 jack there, so you can actually attach some headphones and actually get a loop over of audio so you can actually listen back to the audio as you record it. Not something you'd wanna do when you're streaming, or doing a live video, but if you're doing any sort of top-down sort of unboxings or anything like that, then uh, wearing headphones, you can actually hear yourself back and you can hear if you're making any wrong for noises and you don't have to worry about listening back and then hearing it then. Uh, you can actually, what you hear is what you're gonna get and it's lag-free as well, so you shouldn't be surprised with any of the audio quality once you hear back the recorded audio. So overall, very impressed. I think the build quality is good, um, it's not, excellent i would say it's just good it's got lots of plastic in there i think it would have been a bit more premium if they used a bit more aluminium or metal i find the turning screws um even though deep and you can get your hands in there that could be a bit more improved and um but they they do the job and you're not really going to be altering them that that much once you've got them tightened to how you want it the base of the stand it does sit very quite flush to your desktop surface so you're not really getting an extra level of height from the mount arm. So bear that in mind if you've got a big monitor to come over the top. Well, the arm's long enough to reach probably the most average monitor, but for a very big monitor, you might struggle. So you might have to have the microphone boom arm off the left-hand side or right-hand side of your desk rather than at the back. And also bear in mind the microphone positioning because you've got to speak to the end of it. You've got to bear that in mind in terms of if you're gaming at the same time, this microphone might be in your face and you can't really mount it lower up like the Elgato mount that you can buy. That's a lot more money, but um, you can have their arm underneath the mount and up. So it's actually sitting here in front of you. Uh, you can't do that with this arm. It, it won't bend the other way. As a future iteration, I would like to have seen that. So you have the ability to go under the monitor as well as over the top of it. That would have been a nice feature. I would like to see the shock mount uh, actually have 360 rotation to rely on the positioning. I think it would be nice if that was just a tightened position and then you could actually rotate the shock mount to the desired angle that you wanted to rather than just up and down. Shorter cable for me at least would have been nicer or some sort of better cable management so you don't have this big long lead sticking out the back of it. And I think the spoffle, um, it's probably due to the packaging when it first arrived and hopefully that will uh, expand over time but it's a little bit indented, a little bit cheap. It could have been a bit more premium spoffle on the end of it, I think. Uh, I'm not really that bothered if the microphone was metal or not, but having that plastic feel, it does make it feel a little bit less premium. Same with the shock mount. The shock mount is plastic as well, so it doesn't give you that kind of premium sense. 
And the money that you're paying for, nearly £200, it is quite a lot. But I think the price that I got it at, which is 110 through Black Friday, I think that is a better deal for this mount, which is why I took the plunge. I did reach out to Trust to see if I could review this, but they didn't really get back to me in time. So I went for the Black Friday deal and bought this myself so I could bring this review to you now because there really isn't that many reviews of this. Onyx Mike from Trust on YouTube at the moment. So I thought this would be a good idea to give my review and let know, anyone know what I think of it. I'm not a match of an audio file, but I do know what sounds good. And obviously I've done all these videos over the last two years and I do know what the what's the best audio quality you should be going for. And I really am impressed with this. You could spend all this on just the microphone alone, but the fact that you got a boom, uh, you got a shock mount in there as well. It looks good all under that umbrella at the same, at that quite a low price or the same price as just one microphone from my Elgato or Rode. You're getting a lot for your money, but I think if it was sub 150, uh, I think it'd be better priced at that range rather than the 170 region. Or charge that amount, but just give us some more premium materials in the microphone itself. But as quality of the microphone goes, just listening back, I think it sounds fantastic. Definitely better than my Samsung Meteor mic. So I'll be replacing that for all my future videos. And the best thing is it doesn't get any of this echo that's around me because it is a type of microphone that only focuses on one angle of like a shotgun mic, basically. It's only going to capture the voice from the very front of it and ignore anything that resonates around the outside. So if you do suffer with echoing in your videos, this is a, a microphone that almost dampens that down immediately and you don't have to do any post-processing to get rid of that in your videos. It, it just does it for you, which is saves you so much time in the edit, editing part of your videos as well. So overall, I like it. If you can get it for cheaper, definitely an absolute bargain if you're looking for the whole arm, shock mount and microphone combo. I think the arm could be good for other uses as well to attach a camera to and things like that. So that might be something you might want to look into as well. But you are, you are looking for a mount that's very similar to some other single stem mounts as well. They're roughly in the same price range. So if you're just after the, after the mount alone, then there is definitely lots of competition there. But the fact you get a microphone with it too, then best of both worlds, you get a lot more for your money. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, leave us a like down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the Onyx microphone and arm from Trust. Hit that subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.